video we're going to go over connecting and installing your new vessel system. To do this, first place your vessel into the desired location, either on a shelf or a rack. You'll need at least two inches of headroom to allow for ventilation. In a rack, this is about 2U. Once the vessel is in its location, you'll terminate all the speaker wires using the included Phoenix connectors. To do this, strip your speaker wire about a quarter inch and stick the copper conductors into the terminals. The black wire goes into the negative terminal and the red wire goes into the positive terminal. Use a small flathead screwdriver to tighten down the cable. Now that your speakers are connected, next you'll make all your audio connections. Any external audio sources can be connected to the system using the RCA analog inputs. You can use either the bus inputs or the zone inputs. Any of these zone inputs can be matrixed to any of the connected speakers using the Vessel app. Now that your audio connections are made, connect the Vessel to the internet using the included Ethernet cable. If the device isn't close to the router, you can easily extend the internet using a power line extender or a Wi-Fi to Ethernet adapter. Finally, use the included power adapter to plug in and power on the device. Now that everything's connected, power on the device. The zone lights will flash pink while initializing and then flash red while booting. When everything is ready, all lights will go white. If the lights start blinking left to right, this indicates a firmware update is available. The device will automatically download the firmware update and update. Once everything goes white again, that means that the firmware is up, updated and ready for setup.